Let's go over how the firm decide how much output to produce in the short run. Now remember that in the short run, the problem is that the company has no choice but to pay some of the fixed inputs, uh, something like rent, that you have a contract, let's say, for a year, or if you took a loan to pay for some of your equipment uh, over the period of the, of the contract or the rent or over the period in which you have to pay for the loan, uh, you really have no choice but to pay them. So for, those, uh, for, those, for that period, uh, you have to pay those fixed costs. So you can't really get out of the industry. Let's say you pay you know, uh, uh, $100,000 for an oven. Uh, during the period in which you're paying that loan, you cannot get out of making pizza. You, you have, the only decisions that you have is to whether you want to open your pizzeria and then hire some people or uh, close the pizzeria and, uh, and don't hire people. So in other words, your decision is really whether you want to uh, incur some variable costs or not. And in order to do that, then you only consider the variable costs. Now, I think it's, easy, it's easier to understand before I give you how to solve um, particular equations and how does this look in the graph. Let's look at some hypothetical numbers, very simple numbers, to understand the rationale for the short run. So suppose that in the uh, short run you have to pay, uh, let's say these are per day, $100 of fixed costs per day, and this could be an oven or it could be a rent that you pay on a locale. And then <clears throat> you pay your workers that are your only variable costs around $80 per day. Now suppose that your price for whatever you sell, hypothetical example, is $90. So when you produce uh, one unit of output, uh, how much, you know, how much revenue, how much prop, um, how much profits you have? Well, your actual economic profits at this point are going to be, well, the revenue you make, which is the $90, minus the variable costs, which are the $80, minus the $100, which are your fixed costs. So clearly, in, uh, uh, after this, you're going to be in the hole for $90. But the problem is that you cannot get really, you really cannot get rid of this $100. You have to pay them anyways. In fact, if you produce zero, right, if your output is actually zero, then how much will be your profits? Well, in that case, you have no revenue because you cannot produce those, the one unit without at least having some variable costs. So this will be zero as your revenue. Uh, you will not have to pay for the $80, but you still have to pay for the $100 on fixed costs. So you will actually be in the hole for $100. So you see that in this situation, since your, uh, the revenue you make from, from selling that unit covers the variable cost of $80, you're better off producing because you, you still have to pay $100 and you're still in the hole for 90 but at least you have $10 over your uh, variable cost in order to, to pay for some of those $100 of fixed costs. When you produce nothing, you make no revenue, you have no cost, but you also make no $90 in revenue, and you still have to pay the $100. So this shows you that in, uh, in the short run, since you have to pay the $100 anyway, your decision to whether you want to operate or not should really be based on the variable cost. And as long as, you're, as the revenue you make for selling your, your goods is higher than the money you spend on the variable cost, then you should operate. And you should shut down whenever the price falls below that. So if the price for this problem, instead of being 90, if the price was really $70, then you really should shut down and don't open at all. And if the price was $80, you will break even. So the way economists uh, look at this, they basically say, so write it on the same page here, that when the price falls, uh, if the price is above or equal to the average variable cost, you operate. But when the price falls below your average uh, variable cost, then you shut down. So in the short run, this is a shutdown rule we're going to use. Your shutdown price or your shutdown rule is the price that, it, that falls below your average variable cost. Uh, now in the next uh, little video, we're going to see how this looks in the diagram, and then we're going to see how, uh, how to find that point uh, when you give an equation for cost.